Hi, welcome to my cutins. Today we're going to draw sandy cheeks from SpongeBob SquarePants. Grab your marker and follow along with me. We're going to start with Sandy's nose. We're going to start up here and we're just going to draw a little triangle shape for the nose. And then right above the nose, we're going to draw the eyes. Now we're going to draw two big eyes and we're going to connect it to the nose. And we're going to leave a line open like this. Now we're going to draw the corners of Sandy's mouth. So we're going to just draw two little dimples. And then from there, we're going to draw a smile, an open mouth. And then of course we're going to draw the big front teeth. And we're going to split it down the middle. Now at the back side, we're going to draw the tongue as well. Now it's time for Sandy's muzzle. So, what we're going to do, we're going to start here, we're going to draw a line over, make it nice and big. Now inside, we're going to draw the pupils, the light reflections, and we're going to fill the pupils in. Now right on top, we're going to draw an ear. And from the ear, you're going to draw the top of the head. And then we're going to draw another ear. We're going to draw the inside lines of the ears. And then the side of the head. And on the other side, we're just going to draw the other side as well. Now right below the, the, the face, we're just going to draw the neck. Next up, we're going to start drawing Sandy's body. Now what I want to do is I'm going to draw a downwards curve and you're going to take it all the way to the side and then right on top you're going to bring it back to Sandy's head and then I want you to draw a little inside line there as well. Now on the side we're going to draw the body. So on this side we're going to start, we're going to draw Sandy's body, we're going to bring it over and then I'm just going to bring the line up and I'm going to stop somewhere here. I'm just going to leave this gap open because now I want to draw an arm. So I'm going to start here on the far side and I'm just going to bring a line back and I'll make it a bit wider. And now that I have the arm, I'm just going to complete the body. And then from there, we can make a little dividing line. And within this, we can make a few circles. Now let's go back to the arm. Now I'm going to start here and I'm just going to make a line over and then I'm going to draw a thumb standing up and from the thumb I'm going to draw an open hand or sort of an open glove and I'm just going to divide it like this and then I'm going to divide the arm as well with these sections. Now I'm going to draw a little zip and then I'm going to draw a little badge here on the side with a little acorn. Now on the other side we're going to draw the arm again, another arm. So we're just going to draw the hand first connected to Sandy's body and then a nice curve which would be her arm and we're gonna just divide these lines as well. Now we can go down to Sandy's feet. Now I'm gonna draw the boots first. So I'm gonna draw a little corner like this and then on top I'm gonna make the top of the boot and connect it and then from here you can do the back of the boot as well. And now that we have this shape, we can draw a leg. We can draw a leg there, a little circle in the boot, and then of course we're going to draw the sole of the boot. And I'm just going to make a little dividing line right there as well. Now let's do this on the other side. So I'm just going to draw this L shape again. And then on top, we can start and we can draw the boot. And I'm going to connect it like this, and then again, the leg 
a little circle and then the soul. And I'll divide that as well. Now right on top, we're going to draw a flower. We can draw the petals, the pebbles. Here we go. And now that I have that, I can draw the little bubble, the glass bubble. Can you connect it to the top? And from here, I'll do the same. And there we go. And they sand. Now you can look at my picture and try to match the colors. Thank you for drawing with me. Please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you soon. Bye bye.